dear viewers and welcome to another edition of Corruption Rants on Flaggy TV by Akin Fadi Foundation. My name is Dear Kolola and this is Oluwatomi Okeo. On today's rant, we'll be discussing corruption, who is corrupt, if you think all Nigerians are corrupt, if you are corrupt or you're not corrupt, anyway, just stay tuned. So, Tommy, welcome to another edition. Thank you, dear friend. <laughs> so, what are we discussing? I came here with vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard the topic, I was like, I have to come here for my own corruption rant. I have someone who was recently in a fix um, and had to, and you could see that the person was a well-meaning Nigerian, Nigerian, but was put in a position where the person mm -hmm. had to um, to engage in corrupt activities. And it, I was burned, truth. Yes. That's why I'm here. Like, I was like, okay, like, seriously, even when someone yes. holds the high horse and says, I am not going to um, yes. engage, engage in corruption, it seems like the system is just what yes. against I, I, you. I think, it's, I think it's systemic that you want to do what is right. But somehow, there's just someone within the circle of uh, or within the chain of events that will try to sabotage you so when you talk about the system being compromised it's like we have uh, lots of corruption within all system especially when you're dealing with public institutions in nigeria so let me give you an instance you go to an agency right like one that i went to recently and you go there and you say okay i want to pay for birth certificates for example yeah. and so you get there and they tell you you have captured your details however the person who will sign yeah. in a different location if you want it fast you can and pay someone here they'll help you, they'll help you it get there. it from there and bring it here we should ask ourselves the question are you a corrupt person? I'm not a corrupt person. However, I can truly say that sometimes I do find myself in difficult positions. Yes. Anytime I find myself in a position like that, I'm actually hurt by it. Even more than, like, I'm hurt by the situation. Yes. Because I ask myself, why am I being put in a, a position, position where, you where I have to make a compromise? Choice. Yeah. Like when we talk about Nigerians being corrupt, we have those who are actually corrupt engaging we have corruption yes. us to engage corruption yes. then we have other nigerians who are not necessarily corrupt but they are put in a position to compromise yes. their virtue there's what we call grand corruption right those are the yes. billions of naira we see being stolen yes. every day you know by certain people <laughs> we're not going to mention their names here but sincerely there are other nigerians who just want to do the right thing, right thing. but they are put but in compromising positions exactly. so is it it's either by holding of information mm -hmm. in some agencies you actually not know what you need to do like people will, they will not make it public public or public enough for you to oh no, okay these are the steps I that i need to want. take um if i want to avoid engaging in corruption right. and even when you choose i will go through this process and you have but, somebody who will be empathizing with you that madam don't stress yourself. don't stress <laughs> if you choose so you don't have a choice like nigerians you have a choice between doing you know engaging in corruption, corruption. or spending your entire day and sometimes two days in those certain places yes, and sometimes for a grand form nigerian immigration well you heard it you, i think it's it's, it's, it's a non it's right? out there really yes. there's an investigation currently ongoing by icir and they said they recently identified some nigerian immigration service officers who were extorting those who uh, who came to the office for their international passport so they, their question was if after this process has been automated, automated yes. so to speak why do we still have this room where officers are still trying to extort those who came for capturing or like why the undue long wait for your passports meanwhile someone will tell you that oh, you know if you wanted to come out on time i'm just helping you i'm just telling you how to go about wait it. this helping <laughs> you know nigerians are always helping so we come back to this show yes now. yes yes nigerians <laughs> are always helping you so for example let me give you an example right a friend of ours recently had to come and complain right yes. about how she had been put in a position of having to engage in um bribe bribe right and so she said that she she was actually on her way to the hospital her son was very ill and she was on her way to the hospital they stopped her and asked her for her driver's license and she actually forgot it at home oh. so she was like oh god i was so in, in a hurry. hurry i forgot this at home and he said and he said well madam i'm going to book you and she said please go ahead she felt like ah I work for an anti-corruption agency. I cannot, I cannot do, do this. this. Tell me the quickest way I can pay and get this resolved so I can take my child to the hospital. And the guy said, Madam, 
Eh, you know, you, you know they try you. So you won't carry this. So I'm saying it's empathetic. Yes, yes, you won't take this child that is not feeling fine all the way to the office. <laughs> Madam, let me help you. Just give me something. And she's like, you know, and she's put in a position where even when she wants to do the right thing, someone is literally telling you. already blackmailing her as a mother. Why yes. should you go all that way? Yes, you have yes, child you have a child that is sick. Yes, so somebody is using all sorts of means to ensure that you engage At in corruption. At the end of the day, you actually part with something. Yes. So we now come to this question of when a Nigerian says, "Let me help you," or you walk into the banking hall and the security guy is saying, "Oh no, no, don't worry about filling. Let me help you. Let me help you to fill this form." <laughs> or you come to the ATM to be frank. Uh, <laughs> to be suspicious of any kind of help like even when i was nine months pregnant and someone said let me help you push your push car i said trolley. don't worry because i feel like everybody at the end of is it, trying it and it's not it's, it's not totally that, that statement is not totally hmm. true but there are a lot of people who hmm. are there's an they're expectation of what it means yes. to help and so there's an expectation yes. of there's a pressure yes. that it puts on you so, oh, okay, now I've helped you. So, you How fast? So, the person doesn't leave. leave. So, you don't know, like, so somebody helps you with your card. And then the person just starts going to help you if you leave. When yes. you're coming, you're mad as that weekend. That weekend, woman. This is positive culture that has been turned into something yes. else. Because yes. Nigerians are actually very helpful yes. people. But someone has distorted it in, so, in such so, a way that so there is an extortion part of it. Of it. Like, oh, okay, if I help you do this, you, you also know, need to please, you need to give me back something. Return. You know, yes. yes. So, and it should be a choice that comes freely from you with no, no pressure you'll be robbed of that choice so long as you have received help you're robbed of the choice of deciding if you want to give something or not but you do you answer the question are you corrupt no i'm not <laughs> hey i like, i i, 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 <laughs> I hope, hopefully not but yes i've been put in situations where i left the, i left frustrated right because uh like you said we just have this system that tries to coerce you to do what is wrong and at the end of the day you ask yourself the, the feeling of being powerless that feeling of being helpless that you cannot do something about this sometimes makes it uh, it makes it so so tiring right that and sometimes it makes you feel like you're you're doing a whole lot but you're not necessarily seeing the changes you want to see it's making me realize that change in itself might not be something that happens like at once and that's why we need to keep talking about corruption we need to keep talking about sensitizing people with anti-corruption messages for them to get the point that look in as much as this thing has been ingrained in our system we can do better at and, and Sarah we, sh we surely yes. can let me let me let me let you know why yes. because it let's 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 um, circle back to that example we gave of a colleague who yes. was accosted yes. right you know, if she had absolutely refused Insistent. to give him, it, it would have remained in the mind of this man yes. that regardless of the fact Everything. that a woman was under a dear situation, she refused to give you bribe. And just maybe that would be the behavioral change that he needs. Yes. If you we, know, if it was thinking. Yes. And anything had happened to her son, it would be that this wicked woman killed her child because of how much do you understand so the question is should she even be put in that position in the first place she should not it should be automated because at it that, should be at a that, simple at that thing point, she aired give her the ticket yes give her a ticket or see her situation if her situation is genuine if you are if you're her truly her empathetic, yes, then, if you're you're let her empathetic go. then give her a warning so yes the thing is we shouldn't be put in that position where we are robbed of choice to do what is right but that's the kind of system we have this is what we see playing out every day and um, yes it can be tiring but I still believe that we have um, individuals who are not corrupt thanks for joining us today on corruption rant on flaggy TV by Akin Fadi Foundation until we come your way again next week we wish you a great week bye